Hey, what is up guys? It is Harrison Barron, The Morning Entrepreneur, and in this video, I want to talk to you guys about what you guys need to do when you are driving. Now, you guys might be thinking, Harrison, this is an entrepreneur channel. Why on earth would you talk about what you're doing when you're driving? And that is a great question. Well, this video is being recorded before a 10-hour journey back to my home in North Carolina. I will have my dog Hunter with me, who's currently laying down right now, but I wanted to talk to you guys about what people do in the car. And the reason why I brought this up is because I see too many people that just listen to music for 14, 10, even three hours a day. And that's well and good. And I think that, you know, for certain jobs, you may very well need to go out and listen to music and really kind of clear your head. But there is a massive thought process that needs to happen when you're doing that. I get it. I've done mundane tasks for hours and hours and hours. And just on my, my laptop screen back here, I'm listening to a DJ who's just playing a mix and just kind of has this good beat and flow going. But when I'm on a road trip, I understand that there's probably going to be a 75-25 divide. And my goal is to account for 75% of that time in the car that I'm driving to be listening to books or podcasts. And the reason why is because I'm never going to get better if I just spend all my time driving or doing mundane tasks, whether it's going to the gym. And I'm not saying that going to the gym is mundane, but there's a lot of tasks that we do on a regular day-to-day -day basis that we could easily supplement the music that we're listening to for educational material that will help us get better. Now, I'm sure that many of you guys have probably heard the average millionaire reads 52 books per year, and that's phenomenal. I am not a millionaire, and I don't read 52 books per year, but I am good for between a dozen to two dozen books per year, and even in my prime, I was doing probably about one book per week, which is about 52 per year. I love reading and really listening to audiobooks. Now, I'm going to be spending about 10 to 12 hours in the car with my dog, and I know that during and through New York, where I currently live, I need to listen to music. I need to have full attention on the road. I really need to be dialed in because there's, it, if you've ever been to New York, it's kind of crazy here when you're driving. But the other huge percentage of that drive, I try to account for a lot of it being spent listening to books. And it doesn't necessarily matter what those books are. I think a lot of people get really caught up in the thought that, hey, I need to go listen to really inspiring and entrepreneur audiobooks, which I don't disagree with. But the problem is a lot of people aren't doing anything. They're just listening to music and music is great, but it's not going to get you any further. Your brain's not working. It's not making those key connections between other parts of your brain and other areas, or it's not even giving you ideas. I think this concept of like, you got to listen to every book, you got to read Rich Dad, Poor Dad five times and never split the difference and <laughs> the, the 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 entrepreneur book genre goes on forever, right? Uh, can't can't hold me, can't stop me by David Goggins. You have um, it, the list just goes on and on and on. I've listened to and read so many. Right now, I'm listening to a book. And children, if you're listening to this, be be prepared. I used to be a miserable fuck, right? And it's actually the probably one of my favorite books that I've read recently because. It just, it, it's so great and it's not business related. I love listening to, to books. I love listening to Oren Claff and, you know, it could be Jordan Belfort. It could be the 10X Rule, right? These are all great books. But every once in a while, it's kind of nice to unplug a little bit and listen to more just different stuff, right? It doesn't have to necessarily be, okay, I got to get through this book. I got to get through this book. I'm listening to a book called Traction and it is hard to get through, right? And I'm not going to sit there and put myself through misery of trying to learn and listen to this book. I'm going to break it up into many segments, right? The 48 Laws of Power is like a 50 plus hour book. I'm just breaking it down into one hour segments. If I'm going somewhere and I know that I'm going to be in the car for an hour, I'll throw that on and I'll crush an hour out of it and I'll keep adding to my brain portfolio, right? Now, one thing I'm going to be doing in the near future is making a conscious effort to go back and write an article on the book. So this first article, that I'm going to be coming out is probably going to be a review of I used to be a miserable fuck and what I learned from it. And I think that this is really, really important because now not only did I listen to the book, but now I'm typing it out and giving away information to people about whether or not they should actually listen to the book, right? So far, I'm actually really, really enjoying it. Now, this book happens to be pretty extreme version, but I see a lot of things that I can reflect on myself and work on myself to become a better person over time. And I think that this is really where spending time when you're driving, when you're traveling, when you're 
you know, out and about, if you're flying, it doesn't matter what activity you're doing. Maybe it's even just hiking, right? You don't have to go listen to books, but go listen to a podcast. Don't listen to the same music over and over and over again. There's a time and place for it. But if you're listening to the music over and over and over again, you're not going to progress yourself any more forward. And that's where I think a lot of people really miss the mark. I can leverage the 10 hours or 12 hours, I don't know how long today's trip is going to take, in the car and really say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go leverage that time and I'm going to go spend that time doing, you know, or learning uh, from somebody else's life experiences. This is what I think is the most valuable part about it, right? There's only so much that I could do in the car, but for a lot of the trip, right, if I'm going from New York to North Carolina, I'm in Virginia for quite a while, through Jersey for a little bit, right, depending on which way I go, even possibly some Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, right? A lot of these roads are just two or three lane roads straight or slightly windy for hours and hours and hours. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be listening to books. I'm probably going to finish the book that I'm currently listening to. I used to be a miserable fuck. And now I'm going to go on to the next book that I have. I don't even know what it is on my phone, but I also have to see where I'm at. I might listen to music for a half hour and then jump back into it. Let everything sink in my brain. But I just wanted to bring this video up because I think that there's so many people out there who they're not listening to audiobooks. They're not listening to podcasts, right? Start with podcasts. If you don't want to go spend money on Audible, right? Don't, right? There's other, other ways to consume content. I just listened to a great podcast. I think it was on NPR, uh, the Stony Fields Yoga yogurt company and how they grew their business and oh my goodness how much to relate to it now this isn't a plug for audible i'm actually not even an audible partner but it's kind of crazy to think about a lot of people really just don't leverage their time for whatever they're doing right you're cleaning up around the house turn on a podcast right if you're if you're vacuuming i get it you probably want music on but if there's a task that you're doing that doesn't require a hundred percent of your attention but more of you just to be there right i love mowing the lawn i could you know, that's that's an hour and a half of a podcast or something, you know, maybe it's a small audio, audio, book, audio book, I can't speak, small audio book, it could be uh, one chapter in the 48 Laws of Power, it could just be another chapter in another book that I'm going to get through and that's one hour closer to the finish line than I am. Am I going to retain everything? No, but I do this drive quite frequently and because I do this drive so frequently, I could reread a book pretty quickly. I read the 10x rule twice in the matter of three months. I thought it was really, really good. I thought it was a great book and I think it's really good and inspirational for people. So this is just the mentality I think it's really important to bring up. I think a lot of people are missing the mark on the potential that you have when it comes to listening to growing as a person and ultimately leveraging the time that you have to spend anyway. I had to spend the time anyway. I'm with my dog. He's not going to fly on the plane, right? So being able to leverage that time accordingly and use it to better myself is only going to make me more successful. So hope this video helps. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys later. Bye.